And welcome to your gold market update for today, the 30th of May. We hope you're well and had a good weekend. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, on Friday, we had another strong session on Wall Street to end a very positive week and snap an eight-week losing streak on the Dow. Key technical levels have been broken to the upside on the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq as market appears to see value following the recent drop that we've had. Certainly, PCE numbers, which are an inflation measure, were softer than expected, and this helped sentiment without a doubt, as the idea that inflation may have peaked appears to be gathering some momentum. US futures are mildly positive in early trading, and Asian indices are following that strong US lead with the ASX up around 1% at this stage. We're seeing European futures also point to a higher open. The USD index is holding short-term support. Gold is fairly static around 1850 and oil continues to edge higher as we talked about last week it's around about 118 on the brent crude contract cfd and heading towards that critical 120 the vix has dropped below that key 28 level and is trading at three week lows as well to reinforce the idea that sentiment may be moving positively bitcoin however just appears to just ignore the rest of the market and still continues to be in that 28 to 30 thousand dollar range U.S. markets are closed for Memorial Day, so we focus our data releases on Europe with the German CPI and Eurozone consumer sentiment, the major data to start what is a busy week. Remember, it's U.S. Jobs Week, as always, with it being the first week of the month. Just a couple of charts to show you that may be of interest today. Uh, we'll start with PLS. We've been talking about the lithium socks for some time. We had a break over that key 289 level we tested it on friday but managed just to make our way back down to it but this morning you can see that in all its glory in fact we're going to give you a look at another lithium stock which is ake which was one of our charts of the day uh, some time ago but you can see that continues to move very much to the upside after that break of 1360 so looking very strong across that subsector on the fx front we are keeping an eye on the swissy yen you can see we've been tracking this for some time and it's moved up now to 133. And that is a very important level on this pair. We've got a short term moving average cross there as well, of course. If we just look at the 30 minute chart, you can see how close that line is. And we would expect a move up of possibly around about 75 or 80 pips on that in the first instance, if we get some momentum behind that. But really across most of the yen crosses, we're seeing yen weakness so that could be somewhere to start your looking this morning. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.